Hello friends, this video polynomials part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched polynomials part 1 to part 5. Now let's discuss cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial of the form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t can have 1, 2 or 3 zeros. In this slide, we will see a cubic polynomial that has 1 zero. Let's take this function px cubic uh, cubic polynomial function this becomes let's take this px equal to 8. Here a is equal to 1, b, c and d are 0. Right? Now this is the function. For this function let's plot the graph. p of 0 is 0 q that is 0. p of 1 is nothing but 1 q that is 1 p of minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 q that is minus 1 p of 2 is nothing but 2 q that is 8 p of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 q that is minus 8 now with this point we can plot the graph so the points are nothing but this is 0 comma 0 this is p of 1 so 1 comma 1 this is minus 1 comma minus 1 this is 2 comma 8 and this is minus 2 comma sorry this is minus 2 this is minus 2 comma minus 8 let's plot this so again 0 1 2 3 because we are taking only 2 points so only this much is working for us minus 1 minus 2 and here we have 1 till 8 we have so we will take like this this becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 this becomes 7 this becomes 8 there also minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 7 this is minus 8 correct the first point is 0 comma 0 is this point second point is 1 comma 1 is this point Third point is minus 1 comma minus 1 is this point. Fourth is 2 comma 8 is this point. Fifth is minus 2 comma minus 8 is this point. Correct. So if you join this graph, you'll get something like this. Something like this. Correct. So if you see this graph, this graph meets the x-axis at one point, And that point is 0 comma 0. So we will say that it has 1 0 and the value of 0 is 0 of px is nothing but 0. Why? Because the x coordinate of this point 0 comma 0 is 0 and the number of 0 is number of 0 is 1. Please note number of 0 and 0 both are different. Don't be confused. 0 of this px is 0 because this point is 0 comma 0 where this graph meets the x axis. And the number of 0 is 1. Correct? Now we know that this since graph is going up, this graph may not come back. And this graph does not come back. You keep plotting, it will be like this. And this point will be like this. So this has only 1 zeros. Let me repeat what I have done. I have just taken this polynomial function px equal to x cube. I have plotted the points and I found that this polynomial function has only one zero. Now let's take one polynomial function which has two zeros. For this let's take y is equal to x cube minus x square. Let this be the polynomial function. Now again let's plot this or px is equal to instead of y use px or let's use px. px is equal to x cube minus x square. This is a polynomial function of degree 3. So it is a cubic polynomial function. Now for this let's plot the graph. We will find 0. P of 0 is nothing but 0 cube minus 0 square that is 0. P of 1 is nothing but 1 cube minus 1 square that is 0. P of 2 is nothing but 2 cube minus 2 square that is 8 minus 4 that is 4 
P of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 Q minus 2 square that is minus 8 minus 4 that is minus 12. Similarly, P of 3 will take is nothing but 3 Q minus 3 square that is 27 minus 9 that is 80. P of minus 1 is left will take P of minus 1 also. Is nothing but minus 1 Q minus 1 square that is nothing but minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2. So we can let's plot this point. This point is nothing but 0, 0. This point is 1, 0. This point is 2, 4. This point is minus 2, comma minus 12. This point is 3, 18. And this point is minus 1, comma minus 2. Now let's put these values. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is the x coordinate we have got. And now let's put the y coordinates. y range from 0, 4, minus 12, minus 18 also. So we'll assume this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. This is minus 8. This is plus 8. Correct. This is 6, this is 4, this is 2. This is 2, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6. Now we have to plot 0, 0 at this point. x is 1, y is again 0 is this point. 2, 4 is this point. Right? 3, 18 will be somewhere, somewhere out. Here. So it's a bit out this point. And then we have uh, minus 2 comma minus 12. Minus 2 comma minus 12 will also be somewhere here. Minus 1 comma minus 2 will be correct. So if you want, we can draw one point here also between 0 and 1 because we don't know what is the value. It will be here or here. So let's say 1 by 2 also. So we'll try to find P of 1 by 2. That will be 1 by 2 q minus 1 by 2 square that is 1 by 8 minus 1 by 4 correct this is called minus 1 by 4 so this point is somewhere here this point is here here actually so we have these points why well, I have taken this because I didn't know where the graph will go so I have taken this point now I have a clear understanding of the graph correct so now we will add this point, which I use to point this two points I'll join. This will become like this. Then I'll point join this point. Then I'll join this point, this point, this point, and this point. So if you see this now we got the graph. If you're not understanding how to plot the graph, we can ignore that also because that is not under your syllabus. But just just understand that if you plot the graph for x q minus x square, we'll get graph like this. Once you have a graph like this, we can see that this value meets, this graph meets x is at two points. So we can see that there are two zeros for this. And the value will be, this point is 0, 0, and the second point is 1, 0. So the zeros is nothing but 0, 1. And the number of zeros is nothing but 2. Why? 1 plus 1, that is 2. Correct? So what we have done, we have just taken the function, polynomial function, cubic polynomial function, x cubed minus x square. We plotted this and we found that this cubic polynomial meets the graph at x axis at two points. Thus, we can say that there are two zeros and the values are 0 and 1. Now, I will take this scenario. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.